Barcelona and Nike have been inseparable for over two decades. The Spanish club's commercial relationship with the Oregon-based brand began in 1998 and has seen various renewals over the past 25 years. Extensions on the partnership were made in 2006, 2016, and most recently in 2018, when negotiations between the two parties produced a 10-year extension deal that stretches to 2028. Under this contract, Nike pays the La Liga giants £90 million per season, with the possibility of rising to £133 million based on specific variables. In addition to this fixed fee, Barcelona also receives royalty payments from each sale Nike makes off of their kit apparel. This deal contributes significantly to Barcelona's seasonal revenue, representing a considerable portion of the £153 million the club generated in merchandise revenue during the 2022-23 football season the highest merchandise revenue generated among all football clubs around the world. The partnership is a significant source of income that generates millions for the Spanish club on a seasonal basis. From the outside looking in, we might assume that the partnership is a monetary blessing for the financially troubled Barca. However, Barcelona's president, Joan Laporta, would disagree. During an interview on the Spanish radio RAC1 earlier this month, Laporta stated that the club has concerns that Nike breached the conditions of their contract and that the club, with Nike as their sponsors, are in a situation that they don't want to be in. While Laporta didn't specify what contractual terms Nike allegedly breached, a report from the Spanish radio and news outlet Cadena SER suggests that one of the major issues Laporta and Barca executives have with Nike revolve around the sale of replica jerseys. These replicas, manufactured by the apparel brand Prendas Deportivas Rogers, are identical to Barcelona's official jerseys, minus the Nike logo. The jerseys are legally manufactured and distributed throughout Spain and Portugal under a licensing agreement between Nike and the manufacturers that permits kit replication, provided Nike receives a percentage of the sales. The issue for Laporta is that, despite reports that the replicas generate as much as £20 million in revenue annually, the club receives none of it. Nike, on the other hand, receives approximately £1.7 million in royalties from the sales of the replicas. One of the conditions outlined in the 2018 contract allows Nike to block Barcelona from receiving royalty payments from the sale of various street and sports apparel. Though not explicitly detailed in the contract, Nike considers replicas to fall under this provision. Barcelona's inability to receive loyalties from these replicas has been an ongoing issue, dating back to 2021 when the club filed a lawsuit accusing Nike of an abuse of dominant position. The lawsuit was spearheaded by Laporta upon his return to Barcelona. He was dissatisfied with the contract signed by his predecessor, Josep Bartomeu, who is widely regarded as the catalyst behind Barcelona's ongoing financial crisis. Although the lawsuit was temporarily suspended, as Laporta chose to renegotiate new contractual conditions with Nike, tensions between the two parties have only intensified over time. Alongside contractual issues, Laporta also mentions the potential for the market to double Barcelona's kit revenue elsewhere. By the market, Laporta refers to the continuous rise in football sponsorship values, an example of which can be observed in Manchester United, who had their deal with Adidas extended and upgraded in 2023. This extension saw Manchester United's fixed fee rise from £75 million per season to £90 million, rivaling Barcelona's own contract. The prices offered by apparel companies to design kits for top football clubs continue to rise, and Laporta believes that Barcelona's 2018 deal with Nike, as lucrative as it is, isn't the best deal that can be secured for the club. Laporta's remarks left a lot of people in the industry puzzled as they questioned whether the club could actually secure a better deal than the one they already have with Nike. Club sources stated to The Athletic that during the renegotiation of contracts in the 2010s, Barcelona held a much more prominent position in the footballing world. This elevated standing afforded them greater leverage to negotiate with. In the 2020s, however, there's doubt that the club are in any position to significantly renegotiate or enhance the terms they currently hold with Nike. Recent reports, however, have challenged these notions. As Barcelona attempt to sever ties with Nike, they've simultaneously been contemplating alternative options for their kitting future. One of these options has been to forge a new sponsorship agreement with Puma. According to Forbes, Puma are willing to pay the Spanish club a fixed fee of £106 million per season, with the potential to rise to £170 million if various incentives are met. If the deal were to go ahead, it could be the most lucrative kit sponsor arrangement in football history. 
Another option the club has considered has been to take its kit production in-house. In the same interview where Laporta discussed the market, he also stated more candidly that the option to design and manufacture their own kit is one that Barcelona are seriously considering. Barcelona already produces their own apparel through their business branch, Barca licensing and merchandising, so bringing kit production in-house is a viable idea. Replica uniforms cost around £9 to produce and retail for up to 10 times that amount, but because Nike handles the design, manufacturing and distribution of the kit, Barcelona only receives an estimated 15% royalty cut from the sales, rather than the full amount. If Barcelona were to handle its kit production internally, they could retain a much larger percentage of the sales. While aligning the club with Nike undeniably adds a level of prestige to the kit and enhances its desirability, the loyalty inherent in being a football fan would ensure that regardless of whether the kit is produced in-house or through a name brand, fans will continue to purchase it season in, season out. While both partnering with Puma and pursuing an in-house approach are considered ideal alternatives, realizing either option would be incredibly difficult for Barcelona. With Nike being a formidable brand in its own right, they're unlikely to acquiesce to any contractual alterations that are skewed too far from their favor. Barcelona are committed to Nike until 2028, and Nike is absolutely adamant about not breaking the contract without significant compensation. The contract remaining as it is is particularly vital for Nike, given their recent commercial underperformance. Over the past few years, the brand has encountered challenges in sustaining momentum in two of its primary markets, China and America. As a result, their stock has plummeted by 20% in the past year alone. These underperformances are a result of various factors, most notably the company's heavy restructuring under its current chief executive, John Danaher. The fact that the company is going through such a turbulent season makes it that much more crucial that they retain their contract with Barcelona. If Barca were to succeed in terminating the agreement, Nike could incur losses totaling £300 million, in addition to the more long-term consequences of severing ties with one of the biggest football clubs in the world. When it comes to the second option of designing and producing kits in-house, while well, idealistic, also poses several logistical challenges. Borussia Dortmund entertained a similar idea in the early 2000s, when they announced they would be internalizing kit production to boost revenue. The club encountered logistical issues regarding design and commercial viability, leading them to revert back to outsourcing the production to a sponsor. Production isn't solely about designing kits. It necessitates transforming into a fully integrated retail business. This involves managing various aspects such as marketing and distribution on an extraordinarily large scale. Laporta himself stated that although this option is under consideration, it would certainly be the riskiest approach to pursue. A club source revealed to The Athletic that even if the club were to reach that point, they would still need to entrust fabrication and distribution processes to experienced companies, as the club lacks the facilities to handle such demands. At the time of editing this video, Laporta has announced that Barcelona have officially decided to terminate their contract with Nike due to a breach of agreement, and the club has promptly communicated this decision to the brand. Laporta maintains that the club granted Nike a 45-day window to address the breach, yet Nike failed to meet this obligation and have opted to pursue legal action instead. Right now, all we can do is wait to see how the legal proceedings unfold, but it's inevitable that whatever outcome is reached, it'll have significant ramifications for the future of the club.